your girl Leah and I am back with another video and today is the big day. Today is March 8th and I am getting induced at 4 p.m. today. For those of you that are new and are just now tuning into my channel, thank you for watching. I hope you subscribe. Um, and also, obviously, if you're new, you don't know that I am about to give birth to my first child, my daughter, True Amore. Um, I'm getting induced today at 4 p.m. It is currently 12.41 p.m. And I just grabbed something to eat. I got up at about 8.30 this morning, took a shower, all that good stuff, did my hair. Just did some light natural makeup, a little concealer, blush, bronzer, and some highlight. And um, I just got Jack in the Box. Jack in the Box. And PJ is right here. He's driving. And he just got some rallies. So we're about to eat and then um, we have to make one more pit stop and he has to get a, a bag for his clothes. Um, everything else is packed though. Everything is ready to go in the trunk. I don't know if you can see her car seat is right there on the latch base. Um, they are allowing me to have two people in the hospital. So it's going to be PJ and my mom. My mom is coming as well. We're super excited to welcome my baby girl to the world. We all are, me, PJ, and my mom, and so many other people. Um, but anyways, if you don't know how the induced process goes, I'm just gonna explain it to you and break it down. Um, so basically, when I get there, I have to be there at four, once again, just repeating myself. Clarification, I have to be there at four. When I get there, my doctor said they're gonna give me a pill called Cytotech, which they insert inside of the vagina, and I'm gonna get three of those every four hours. So not like three every four hours, but I'm, I'm gonna get three doses, excuse me, every four hours. So I'll get one dose when I first get there, and then four hours later, I'll get the second dose, and then four hours after that, I'll get the third dose. So, and that is basically just gonna start cramping, and it's going to soften up my cervix, because your cervix is what opens up when baby comes out. Obviously, it needs to be softened, and it needs to be dilated. So then, after that, um, Tuesday morning tomorrow um, I'm gonna get what's called a pill a pill called Pitocin and that is going to start contractions and it's basically just really gonna get the process going um, to get my baby girl here so I'm super excited I am going to be in the hospital for a couple of days my, I know my doctor said that once my baby is born I'll have to be in the hospital will have to be in the hospital for 24 to 25 hours so I might go home what if my doctor said she should be born Tuesday night, so tomorrow night. So I'll probably go home Wednesday night or maybe even Thursday morning. I'm not too sure. Um, but I did want to give you guys an update on everything that's going on. Because I know I said I would at least post one or two more videos before I went into the hospital. And I did want to go ahead and upload this video before I do. Um, don't worry, I am doing a labor and, or labor and delivery vlog. Excuse me. Um, so all of that will be recorded. PJ and my mom are going to be recording me for the most part, but I will record myself until obviously I don't have the strength or the patience because I'm going to be in pain. Um, so yeah, but um, don't worry if you don't see like the labor delivery vlog right, right away. I'm not going to upload it until I get back home because I'm not bringing my laptop into the hospital just because it's just extra baggage just to carry. Um, and we all already have our own bags, including my baby girl. So um, it's just too much. And with COVID and everything, I don't want to. I don't want to bring all that and then have to, you know, carry all that home and unpack everything. So yeah. So be on the lookout for the vlog. Um, I'm really not too sure. Maybe at the end of this week. Maybe the beginning of next week. Um, I'm a new mom, so obviously I'm going to be spending a lot of time. We're going to be spending a lot of time with our daughter and um, getting settled and getting her on her own just getting adjusted to um, everything because obviously, you know, it's, this is a big change um, for the both of us, but especially for me because I'm a first time mom, so I'm just going to be basically getting the gist of everything first couple of days when I'm home. Um, but yeah, y'all, I just wanted to update you guys and throughout the rest of this little vlog, me vlog or whatever, I don't know how really gonna be taking you guys throughout my day before I go to the hospital that way I can upload this video before I do go in um, but right now I'm on my way back home and I'm about to eat I'm starving I have my egg all day well all morning that's just because I got up super early to get ready and stuff and packing the last minute things not really last minute things I already 
had everything packed, but I needed to grab my phone charger and put that in my bag because obviously I use that every day. So I didn't want to put it in there when I first packed. But um, yeah, you guys, I'm super excited. Prayers for a safe and healthy labor and delivery are greatly appreciated. I appreciate all of the encouraging words in the comments and all of the prayers. Um, yeah, so just be on the lookout and stay tuned for that labor and delivery vlog. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. If you are not subscribed already, subscribe and hit that bell so you can be alerted every time I drop a new video. But stay tuned, guys. And um, yeah, we should have a baby by tomorrow night. But you guys won't know that until you see the vlog. Unless, follow me on Instagram at SabrinaLea underscore underscore. I haven't been on there in a while. Um, I really don't plan on getting, getting on there. But I will be posting um, a picture of my baby girl when she is born. So go turn your post notifications on, my post notifications on, so you can be um, alerted of that as well. But yeah, you guys, as far as everything else, stay tuned. I love you guys. And um, I'll catch you in. All right, y'all. So we just got to Academy Sports. You can't even really see it. We just got to Academy Sports. We went to the Nike outlet to get PJ a bag so they could put stuff in, but they didn't have no bags. Like, they were book bags. They didn't have no totes. So, and we went to the Nike outlet because he had a gift card. And they didn't have shit. So, it was a waste. So, now we had Academy. So, he can get him a bag to put his clothes in. <sighs> Sorry if the quality just like kind of went down a little bit it's because I'm using a front camera only because I'm in a store and I don't want to talk too loud and I want to be able to see myself. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, check out, we finna find him a bag. And stuff in. And yeah, my legs hurt. Uh, I'm just a little uh, tired. <sighs> you said dicks. Mm, I don't think we in the right section. I think it might be over here. But um, y'all see that star on my eye? It's been there for like almost two months. I gotta get some cream for my doctor. <laughs> yeah, I tried putting a warm towel on it. It just didn't work. That motherfucker is sticking around. Ask her. Excuse me. Where would your um totes be? Like bags? I'm sorry. Your bags, like totes. Totes. There's some older in the front and there's some in the back too. Okay, thank you. But yeah, yeah, this is what we're doing right now. Um and then after we leave here, we gotta go back to the house so PJ can put his stuff in his bag. And um, back where, oh, back on the back wall. To the right. Go back to the house so he can pack his stuff. And I'm gonna hurry up and upload this video real quick. So I can give y'all a little content for me in the hospital. <laughs> um. What's that? Adidas. And she said there's something in the back. And then after that, it's going to be time to um, head to the hospital because it's two something now. It just hits like two o'clock. But um, yeah, yeah, I just wanted to make sure I was updating y'all on everything. And, you know, I don't want to leave y'all hanging. So. Let's make sure I give y'all a video. Um, I, I'm not really nervous, y'all. I mean, I'm like anxious nervous, but I'm more excited than anything. And I know that, you know, God is going to be with me and my baby girl. So, um, I know everything's going to be okay. God willing. I'm just more, uh, I think I say I'm more excited to meet her more than anything. You know, I mean, of course, I have a little bit of nerves, which is normal. I mean, I'm a first time mom. It's my first time giving birth. So, yeah, I'm just kind of rambling, but I just wanted to share my 
feelings with y'all on how I'm feeling right now. Uh, you don't see my he's like big bags. Why is it so hard to find a tote? Uh, a bag, like a zip up bag, not no backpack. <sighs> this is a big ass store. Mm. But yeah, yeah, that's what we doing. Um, I guess I hit y'all back up. We might have to go to Dick's because we're not finding anything in the academy either. And we're literally just looking for a tote bag. Why don't they have this inside of a sports store? And y'all, I'm out of breath. Because I'm mocking. I see my baby. Mm -hmm. This really like the last time y'all gonna see my belly. <laughs> uh, besides if I show it in the labor and delivery vlog, but yeah, yeah. Um, I don't think we're ever gonna be able to find what we're looking for in here. So we're probably about to run the dicks real quick and then shoot back to the house. And um, yeah, so just keep watching and I'll hit y'all back up in a minute. All right, y'all, so we just left Dix. He got his bag. Now we are on our way to Walmart to grab a case of water. Um, and I gotta grab one more other thing. And that's it, and then we're going back to the house so he can pack his stuff, and then we're gonna head to the hospital. It's now 2.30, and I'm gonna upload this video real quick, but I did wanna go ahead and end it. Um. But yeah, y'all. And we getting a case of water because we're not taking the whole case, but we're taking some bottles of water. Because I, I don't drink tap water, and neither of us do, nor does my mom. And um, I'm, we're not about to be buying bottles of water from that hospital. It's because I know they charging out the ass. No, just take our own. And if there's a glare on the camera, I'm sorry. Um, I can't see myself because I have the back camera turned on me. And if, it's, if it was a little shaky throughout the video, I'm sorry about that too. But I love you guys. Thank you so much. Um, be on the lookout for the labor and delivery vlog. I talk with my hands, y'all. <laughs> uh, be on the lookout for the labor and delivery vlog. Should be dropping at the end of this week. If not, I'll say early next week. Just be on the lookout. Follow me on Instagram at SabrinaLeah underscore underscore. Um, so you can see baby girl when I do upload the pic her and like comment subscribe to my channel um if you're a new watcher i hope you subscribe every subscriber is greatly appreciated and turn or hit that bell so you can be there anytime i drop a new video period but yeah y'all that's it um i love you guys and um like i said before prayers and everything are greatly appreciated so just know that if I don't reply back to each and every one of you, I do see it. And I will at least try to heart everybody's comment. Um, but I'm going to be in the hospital for a couple of days. So I love you guys. Wish us luck. And pray for us. Thank you. 